I think you just caught me during my nap. Hey guys, it's Alex here from Homie. Let me pause the music. You will have just noticed that when I snoozed my alarm, my ultimate morning flow triggered. So I had my slide curtains open up, my IKEA light turned on, and my Sono speaker started playing my favorite playlist. Now you might be wondering, how did I set that up? And the answer is Siri Shortcuts. And we recently just launched a sort of connection between Siri Shortcuts and some of your favorite flows on Homey. You can now use Shortcuts to trigger your favorite flows. And I quickly set one up that triggers on an alarm when it snoozed. And I've got a few more ideas. We have one for an AFC card. So when that's red, my front door will unlock. So I can now, by scanning an NFC card, just get into my house. Now let's jump straight into creating your very own Siri shortcut. Let's jump over to the Shortcuts app. And here, you can head to Automations. And you'll see that I've already got a few automations set up here. What I'll do is delete my snooze automation. And we're gonna create this together. So, I'll just create a personal automation and I'll select an alarm as my trigger event. And here you have a few options. And since I'm a snoozer in the morning, I'm gonna use alarm is snoozed. And you can choose from existing alarms, your wake up alarm, or just any alarm in general. And I'm just gonna use any alarm. Now, that's when this automation will trigger on shortcuts. What you want to have happen is that the shortcut actually triggers a favorite flow I've got set up on Homey. So I'll head into the actions and I'll search for Homey. And here I'll select Homey and I'll start a favorite Homey flow. Now you can select from your favorite flows and select the one that you want to happen with this shortcut. So I'm gonna select weekday rise and shine and I'll hit next. Now, my automation is actually complete. Now, Apple also asks me if I want to be asked before running the flow. And what will happen is you'll receive a quick notification in which you can select run if you want this to happen. In this case, I don't need that check before it happens. So I'm gonna turn that off and I'll hit done. Now, this is exactly the same shortcut that I used in the intro of this video. So this would trigger the curtains opening up lights turning on, and my music playing. Let me show you another quick shortcut I've created. Now for this, oh, I'm gonna need this Dana lock. And I have my travel card for here in Holland. And this contains an NFC chip. Now you can also use NFC stickers that are widely available online or other NFC cards. So your bank cards, for instance, you can use to have this happen. But you can also use it as a trigger for any of your other favorite flows. This is just a great example to show you what's possible. So I want you to imagine that this NFC chip is placed perhaps next to my doorbell or on my front door itself. And when I scan it, once I've scanned the card, you'll see a notification pop up. If I select the notification, I can hit run. And this is that check that Siri implements. And since this is a security flow, I am using that check. So now I can just tap on run and it'll trigger the unlocking of my front door. Now you'll see the flow that I've set up here on the right. And that flow contains a couple of conditions to say that this door unlocks when I scan the chip. And if I scan the chip again while it's unlocked, like now, and I trigger the shortcut, then the door locks. So you can see this as when I'm leaving home, I scan this chip, and when I come home, I scan it again. And this is a great way to get around, sometimes features like close proximity or Bluetooth may not work 100% of the time, and then this is a great way to access your home. Now, let me put this to one side again. And I'll quickly show you the last shortcut I've created. And this is actually when I connect to the Wi-Fi that I choose here. 
So when this phone connects to my office Wi-Fi in this case, the Anthem, then it starts my favorite flow for just came home. And that flow looks a little like this. So you'll see, and you can imagine that that's a perfect flow for when you come home. The lights turn on, the curtains open up, and the heating turns on as well. And this is a great way to avoid using geofencing or geolocation to determine where you are. Sometimes you might wanna keep that information private and just use that connection to your Wi-Fi. Now, that's just a few of the examples that Siri Shortcuts has. There are a bunch of different automation triggers that you can use in Shortcuts to trigger some of your favorite flows you've got running on Homey. Now, just remember if you're looking to set this up, that the flow triggers you have set up with Homey will also trigger your flows. So sometimes these things can happen double if you also set up a shortcut that triggers the same flow. So it might be handy to change the flow trigger to this flow has started, in which case you can then use Siri shortcuts as the trigger event for that flow. Now, if like me, you're an iPhone or Apple fan, then this is a great way of setting up a better smart home for yourself. You can have Siri shortcuts start triggering some of your favorite flows that you've got running on Homey. So you can use the power of your iOS device with the versatility of a universal smart home hub like Homey. So you can start creating the best smart home experience for yourself.